welcome back to my channel what is up you guys today i'm using natural lighting wait fine oh if i move it it's better lighting <laughs> i'm gonna move that anyway so today it is my october bullet channel moment i am so excited this one i have planned in less than a day but i am super super excited about it because it's like i just i love halloween i love halloween <gasps> and um so i did a little i did a little fun stuff i went to pinterest and i like was making like a mood book and of course i started my mood book with a halloween theme <laughs> so i just had some extra pictures and i like i love that and i needed that somewhere so that's where it is so this is kind of like my planning page just in my sketchbook just absolute bs just scribble 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 this is the original idea and then i trashed that idea and then you know the globe and stuff but this is kind of the theme we're going for i don't have any pumpkins yet in this theme i might have to make one and put some, one somewhere there's literally no pumpkins in this theme which is really sad because that was going to be my centerpiece oh whatever so there's going to be a lot of changes um uh in my in my past bullet journal-esque uh, life i have never done weekly spreads because i never saw the use for them and now i'm going to start them but um i am not going to talk this entire time because i will literally want to punch myself in the throat let's get this party started i'm gonna be watching ghost adventures while i do this so hello there welcome to this video so today i um when I was coming up with an idea, I decided on going with a gypsy woman as my cover. I was originally going to have a pumpkin with a bunch of different stuff on it, but for some reason it just wasn't working out in a way. So I ended up switching over to this woman. Um, I love gypsies. I have a very, very high respect for gypsies. Um, but I wanted to do a very, um, uh, sorry, like, typical, like, gypsy stereotype with the crystal ball and stuff like that. Because it plays into Halloween. Um, and then this is my crystal ball. Oh my god. This is just watercolor. And then I just needed to enhance it a little bit with some color pencil. It doesn't look like a crystal ball, but it looks freaking awesome. So I could kind of care less. <laughs> Oops, but it is so, so pretty. It's so pretty and it's so gorgeous. And I'm just sticking that down with some tape because I'm not a fancy girl. And also like my pages are so thin, I really can't like do anything else. Like I can't use glue on these pages. I will die. So then I have to write the little October and I check out my favorite brush lettering pens, brushes. Things. Okay, um, which is the Tombow Dual Brush Pens. Oh my god, I love these guys. I love them so much. I looked out like a lot because sometimes my lettering, since I'm new to it, is a little hit and miss. And it was very much a hit to say. I was very impressed. I was very happy. I think it turned out so super cute. Oh my god, I think it's so cute. And I just. I love it. I think it looks really cute. How about you? Yes. So, first of all, I would like to say, yes, I know. Yes, I know how badly that bleeded through. I have an artist loft um, dot journal, which is like $5 from Michael's. It's very cheap and inexpensive. Um, but it has 80 GSM but it feels a lot thinner than ADGSM. <laughs> but uh, it's, yeah, so the bleeding is very prominent and uh, I just, I live with it. Um, so basically my monthly calendar, I had this really genius idea to do like an apothecary um, because it's all about witchy vibes, all about the witchy vibes, okay? So 
so I just drew like a bunch of different bottles and then I have like I love the little details of like the candles and and the book and stuff please oh, my cat is walking across my computer oh please don't fuck anything up please um but I really loved like the candles and um a lot of the candles are actually like kind of designed after the candles that I actually have and then um that little tree is actually a glitter tree that i uh i got from target for like three dollars and i decided to add it in i thought it looked really cute and i have a skull it doesn't look like that one but it's a skull <laughs> so i kind of incorporated some of my own stuff and then i just have a goals notes and key little boxes um i just like having goals right there for when like i need them um, just to kind of remind me what I want to do this month. I just do like one or two and then I'm doing a November preview um, This is something new. I've never done this before and I'm very excited about it um, I Yes, hello. Hi. Uh, I just really want to be able to look to the month in, in ahead and um, Let me tell y'all about this Let me tell y'all about this little border pattern when I first did it, I was like, oh, I regret this. Oh, I regret this. And then it turned out really cute. And I just took like a, a super tip marker in like a light brown. And it, I, I actually think it looks a lot cuter than like, I was really, really, really excited to do like the apothecary thing. And I feel like the apothecary thing was not my favorite part. This is my favorite part. Oh my God. So I decided to incorporate monthly trackers. Um, mood trackers because I have like the one where you do 365 days a year and it's getting to the point where it's so far up in my bullet journal I, I don't even acknowledge it no more <laughs> um, but I really wanted to do this super freaking cute crystal cluster mood tracker it took me forever and I, I but I had to show you the whole process because it's so freaking awesome I oh my god I love it I love it so much <sighs> I think it's super 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 awesome and then it's next door neighbor is the sleep log I was nervous about this okay I was super nervous I'm like how the hell am I gonna do this I don't know what <laughs> I was like scared because you have to put 31 days on a sleep tracker and like each little line I like I hand drew it like I didn't even record it because I'm like I am not like torturing you because that was oh my god that was so long and my, my camera battery would not have lasted um but i think it looks so freaking awesome i was i was highly impressed and then i did these like drippy letters i have been like drawing these drippy letters forever and i like absolutely love them because they can be like so like lopsided and it kind of works with it um, but uh, I love it and then I wanted to give it a little bit more of a 3d effect and it just it looks freaking awesome freaking awesome I'm telling you these are like my two like most proudest moments of this entire journal and then I did a habit tracker that is a little reminiscent of the sleep log I highly recommend if you're gonna do one of these do the habit tracker <laughs> because it was uh, do do the crystal mood tracker and then do this habit tracker because it was so oops my cat turned off my recording anyway i would highly suggest doing this one it was super simple and super easy and it looked really cute and it looked like a spider whip and i love it <laughs> um and then yeah it's it's honestly it's really simple you just kind of go through and and just get them to go together and then this so in the month of september i did an expenses tracker that was split up into four weeks and it was a waste of space. So I kind of just randomly came up with doing the book of expenses. Um, and I think it turned out freaking cute. I love that lettering, which I just kind of copied from a creative lettering book that I have. And then I drew little spiders hanging down. I thought they were so cute. Oh my God. Oh, they're so adorable. And then I wanted to obviously age the book a little bit. Um, and I, I really think it turned out really super cute and I should have um, a JPEG of this down in the description if you want to get this for yourself because I think it's super cute and then I am challenging myself to do 31 special effects makeup looks um, throughout the month of Halloween 
um, just to kind of get myself back into the groove of it. And then also I am set up a brain dump page just because I want a place to dump my stuff. And then this is like honestly a horrible, horrible lighting situation, but the light was about to go down and I just really needed to film it. And that is it. <laughs> I just went through and added like um, the quotes and the colors and the white highlights and I added some washi tape just to give it a little oomph. But this is my setup of the month and I am like, I am so excited about it. I think it looks super cute and then I put this super cute Harry Potter, it's not a quote but it's a Harry Potter inspired quote and uh, I just think it's super cute because um, where the where where is my hogwarts letter I'm, I'm a little salty about that anyway um thank you guys so much for watching and please subscribe because i'm gonna have more stuff like this because i absolutely love this so yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace and love